Okay, so in this video, we're going to go over the UFX Trend Report EA. In the last video, we went over the scanner. Um, so we're going to get right into it here and go over all the menu settings uh, and actually set it up on a couple charts. Um, we're going to use the Odd New Zealand 15-minute chart and also the 4-hour chart. Um, so when we go to the 15-minute chart, um, I just wanted to clarify something here. Between uh, For the 15, the 30, and the 1-hour chart, these vertical lines represent one day and for the four hour these vertical lines represent one week okay so let's just go up over to the scanner here and open up the 15 minute chart and we'll go back to the scanner here and open up the four hour okay so we'll start with the 15 minute and we're going to drop the ufx trend report ea onto it okay and you can see on the initial drop here that it puts our uh, vertical lines on here now when you first drop it on you might have it looking something like this um, okay all you're gonna want to do is go up into the menu button here open up the menu and then adjust the font size okay now we're gonna keep this menu button open uh, and then just quickly go over things. You've got the weekly trend and the daily trend. Now, if you want to adjust these, you can just click on, uh, right click on the chart, go to your expert advisor's properties or hit F7. Um, and you're gonna have the first trend here is one week. That's your top, the top weekly trend. And then your second trend is the day. So I've got these set to default. These are the ones I keep it on, uh, but you can change it to whichever one you would like. okay and we'll just right click um, we'll keep that uh, as these as the default uh, again here you've got your alerts on or off um, and then we'll get into this money management here this is auto adjusted when it takes the trade um, but say right now you're in this or you, you've gotten an alert here off the scanner you open up the chart and you're not in uh, this trade but you want to get into it um, all you got to do is if you don't know what lot size to take um, based on 1% then you can just click on your money management and based on your account size it will adjust your lot size okay and then you can just go up here and manually take the trade uh, and set it up that way okay Okay, and that's also handy when you're using the 50-50 indicator, and we'll get into that uh, here as well. So um, that's for the lot size. If you want to take a trade for a buy or sell, you have to click these buttons here. Okay, when it's green, you're trading buys. It'll take a next um, the next signal to the long side here, okay? When you get a, a signal, you're going to take a buy. And if you want to do sells, just turn your cells on and that's it as long as it's red and it says trading cells you're going to take um, sell trades on your next um, bearish signal okay so we'll keep that off your pivots here they're on we can turn these off uh, by default you're probably going to see them shown as off uh, so this is grayed out all you want to do is turn it on um, so on the lower time frames like I said on the 15 minute the 30 minute and the one hour your pivots are based on the daily pivots okay because you're between these vertical lines and each uh this is one day that it represents um, and then on the four hour your pivots are going to represent the weekly okay uh, so we can keep these off um, this indicator is on on off switch that's just going to turn these lines off okay and then we can turn it back on your 50 50 is off we can turn the 50 50 on you're gonna see the 50 50 entry okay now we can turn that off um, if you want to use the 50 50 indicator only you can click this and now we don't have our breakout um, entry we've just got the 50 50 entry now I don't have the uh, the setup here to take trades off of the 50 50 um, and that's another reason that we can use the money management and 
it will adjust based on the 50 50 and we can take this trade manually go up here again here uh, three mini lots almost four mini lots here we can adjust it and just take the trade ourselves uh, manually okay if it's in that area that you like we'll turn that off um, we've got this set to default on is trading the higher highs and higher lows lower lows and lower highs okay we can turn that off and then when the next signal um, say this signal right here this green candle would have been a, um, a buy signal and you can see that it's an engulfing it's not a, um, a higher low and a higher high um, so if we would have had this filter turned on we wouldn't have got we wouldn't have taken this trade the EA if we had our, our buys turned on here it wouldn't have taken this trade but it would have taken this trade here because you can see we've got a higher low and a higher high okay so by default this is going to be turned on um, also our money management our risk we can set it to 1% uh, default it is set to 1% all we got to do is click on it and now we're going to be risking 2% of the account equity click on it again and you're at a higher aggressive risk of uh, 5% okay so when you would want to use 5% is mostly on smaller accounts if you're trading hundred or two hundred dollars um, probably more or less under five hundred dollars uh, you might want to use this uh, but mostly for the hundred dollars and less or uh, it's uh, when you start trading this 1% 0.01 lot on a hundred dollars um, if you've got a you know a 20 pip uh, 15 pip stop um, isn't going to be one percent of a hundred dollars okay so just to let you guys know that um, if you're trading a small account uh, or very small 50 75 100 bucks 150 uh, you're probably going to want to change this to five uh, percent okay otherwise you get into the higher accounts you can stick with the one percent uh, be more conservative your risk reward um, by default it's three to one this is your target okay so when you have this trading buy set and um, you've got a three to one if it takes this trade if we would have had this set up and it would have taken this trade our entry stop would have been here we would have had our target um, set to the three to one target okay now if we click on this we can go to a one to one and if it got into this trade it would have targeted our one to one target here okay and then we've got our two to one same thing it'll target the two to one uh, but by default we've got it set to the three to one okay now using the swing high or low when we get our signal it's going to be looking back five candles um, because each of our signals should be at a swing point okay generally so we're going to look back three uh, five candles here and put it on this um, swing so if i turn the indicator off and we've got the ability to use the signal bar and put our stop below the signal bar so if we turn our indicator back on you'll see it's using the single signal bar and then taking into account our uh, spread as well so okay so our stop is down here now we turn it off go back to our swing low and it's you know pretty much the same anyways um, our low of the candle here and the swing low is uh, maybe a couple pips or one pip not even um, difference so okay so that's all for that uh, we do have our lot size or our font size right here we can adjust and um, I just put this ability in to change it to a dark theme uh, this was more for myself here um, I prefer having the dark color uh, rather than the light theme so you can change it to the dark if you like this then go ahead and use it that's fine um, but uh, on the YouTube live I've got it set to the uh, light theme so okay um, that is basically it I know I had a few people asking about taking buys and sells because um, I really needed to get this video out showing you guys this menu here um, that these need to be highlighted if uh, you're gonna get into the trades okay so I hope that explains the um, the menu within the trend report EA 
uh, and it'll clarify a lot for a lot of people here, which would be nice. Um, but let's go over, close out our 15 minute chart and we'll open up the four hour. We'll put the EA onto it. And I just want to show you, we got the signal on the scanner and what this scanner is looking for I'll just move this over here so we can go over the uh, uh, that way you guys will know what it's looking for it's looking for and we'll put our pivots back on here okay uh, we're looking for uh, to show up on the scanner we're wanting the highs and the low here to be between the um, to be between the 50 and the pivot okay so we want to see the pullback between the 50 and the pivot um, and that's what we want to go based on this trade so um, it's not a bad trade here we'll set it up based on again this is the four hour these are weekly pivots um, you can see we had an initial cross here so what I'm looking for and when I do my targets uh, is look for the initial cross and um, on our first cross here with our first pivot you can target the three to one okay and if you start getting past like here you had a cross coming down we would have gotten an alert right here uh, we could have taken this one uh, this cell for a three to one we would have hit our target um, and then now when you get the second alert and if you wanted to take this one now this is when you want to pay attention to our pivots coming down and when the last cross was uh, because we're stepping down here and now we've got the alert we're two pivots down uh, we can go for a two to one now rather than a three to one okay and then you get another one here you go to a, for a one to one okay and then when you start getting past um, the first three uh, pivots uh, on your trend maybe just pass and wait for uh, the reversal or for a pullback and then maybe a, a cross of the EMAs again and start fresh again so okay uh, that's what I'm looking for on those um, but for this one here like I said we can take a trade um, by ourselves okay we're gonna risk 1% and we're gonna use the swing high and low which is where it's already at it doesn't really matter on uh, on this one where the candle is but it's got a really nice uh, rejection candle at the pivot end of the EMA here um, all this is is a 50 EMA okay and we've got our daily or our weekly pivot on the four hour here so a nice rejection candle a momentum buy candle and we could actually take a trade here if you're not too sure what to risk again remember I just showed you money management click on this okay we're looking at one mini lot okay take the buy manually okay set our three to one set our stop and uh, now we're good to go for this trade we can let it go close this off and we obviously don't need to set this because we're already in the trade and we're just gonna let it run And now we can always just check it here on uh, on our main time frame and just see how it uh, reacts here okay so that's it that's the uh, strategy in a nutshell um, going over all the menus if you guys got any questions feel free to send me a message on telegram and uh, if I'm not sleeping I'll get back to you all right take it easy guys yeah.